to introduce my mom and I don't live in here. I came here to tell you what it looks like from a child's eye view, not to have health care. It's not easy to be a kid without health insurance. It's even harder to be a sick parent with small children and not be able to take care of them or yourself when you are sick. I wear glasses and need regular dental checkups. Sometimes I get sick and need to go to the doctor. I go to school and I love to read. Many children don't know how healthcare works, but I've taken a crash course. Sometimes I don't have healthcare. This affects my work at school and how I grow up. We also shouldn't have to struggle because we don't have healthcare. Some children of ground zero heroes have lost their homes and their belongings because of foreclosures or evictions. They have to live with relatives and some of them end up being homeless. Children should be allowed to grow up and should never have to watch their heroes or their parents suffer and solely die from a lack of health care. How could we as a nation treat our rescue workers from ground zero this way? I asked to come and speak to you today. Just because I can't vote doesn't mean I don't have a voice. Rep I represent children responders, children of responders, but most importantly, we want you to know that our parents have the right to live and have the right to health care. Poor American children today have the same opportunities as children born in third world countries. We don't think it's wrong for me to ask our country to treat its citizens better. Here to tell you her story is a ground zero here on my mom, Regina Sermontes. 